Hi guys, in this video I'll introduce to Windows and maintenance, refresh and reset mode. Now maintenance mode is basically housekeeping and it allows you to you know, do a perform security scanning, system diagnostic and all. It's like a, a back office work for any office and there it goes and changes you know a lot of stuff. So uh, the advantage you get is uh, the general Windows annoyance of you know pop-ups and all those things is gone with this. And automatic maintenance can also be started manually at any time you want and you can either make a search or just open action center to find this maintenance mode so it happens only when the machine is very idle and if it and you can schedule it and if it doesn't find you idle at that time it will again run it later and it's also possible to allow schedule maintenance to wake up your computer if it is plugged in at the schedule time so it will automatically turn it on I haven't really tested it but it's worth seeing now I have just started the maintenance but I am stopping it for a while because it's going to take time so you saw the refresh and the scanning going on so that's how it works <clears throat> I will just stop it for a while because this is going to take a lot of time so keep skipping for now take a very long time but yes it works very nicely you know, next uh, we will look into the uh, two new modes which has come is uh, under the recovery mode. Recovery mode before used to have only system restore. Um, but now recovery mode have two more options. One is called as refresh and another is called as uh, reset. So you can just type and it will should come under settings. That's one way of finding it. This is useful when you, your Windows 8 has installation is on very slow it has been very long time and you know you are just uh, finding it very buggy so that is what we'll use so refresh reset and they can save a lot of time for you um, when you want to install an OS you know it takes a lot of time it might be faster but still takes time and most of the time you do not have the CD and the USB the bootable ones now this same option can be found on the general where you can refresh your PC and reset your PC and start over again but for a normal user it on this so like for this user I have logged in I don't get an option to start so I will have to log out and get into somewhere else or if I have the password of the admin I can do that this is the old one the system restore and you can configure you can create a system repair desk and all this stuff this is the old one refresh and reset is a new one which we will see in action today. So let's begin with refresh PC. If you are in admin, you will ask for password like I am getting here. <coughs> so like you see, uh, your files and personalized settings won't change. Your PC settings will be restored to the default ones and apps from Windows Store will be kept and all other apps will be removed. Now, when it says default PC settings, this means any customization changes you have done to PC like maybe the sync one, the sync profile option and all those things that will get to default. So this will de restart the PC. Now I will do a new test here though the this process works, I have done it before. But what I will do, I will crash it in between and see whether it is able to restore your PC to you know the old one, to the a normal state from where you actually started refreshing your PC. If it can go back or not so that's what I will do here so it's refreshing now probably you know resetting the options and maybe replacing some of the files and so on that's what it does now I find this option much better than a system restore because you do lose some files over there but that's because how is this some system restore works over there so you do couple of uh, lost couple of files and program installation so there's nothing to do that. So it will reset profiles. So it takes it takes a bit of time. At least uh, on mine, and uh, I have i5 with 4 GB of RAM startup. <coughs> still, it it takes a bit of time. So as this for fast forwarded, now getting the device ready. So it's getting the device stage ready, and right after that, uh, it was slow for me. So you know, I plan now will crash it and let's see what happens so you can see the device stage is ready 
and probably yep it's getting the system ready I wonder why it took so much of time I don't know I mean probably it, uh, they're looking for a ARM based hardware still maybe it will be faster there I don't know but maybe you can think whether your next PC will be a ARM based hardware or it will be x86 or x64 because uh, I think software has to change the we'll have like we have x86 x64 we'll also have ARM based office and all something like that so we'll just do a crash here <coughs> and right after the crash you will see if the it is system has crashed will start doing undo over here so let me crash it first. after crash it will again do a you know we'll see it doing a refresh kind of thing but it actually will end up uh, doing a undo so here i'm going to crash it so it's part of i'm trying it on a virtual machine so you know that's why you see it like this okay now i'll restart now that's a virtual machine setup i have a video tutorial on that if you want to start on a VSD, you can do that even on a XP dual boot. Uh, VirtualBox is a nice, easy going uh, software for virtual PC and all that. So now you can see it's uh, preparing to refresh your PC again. You get to the same status message even if, even though I crashed it. Now what I'll do next is probably wait and see what happens. I mean, there's no other option. Yep. So now it will surely tell me, yeah, so it made a restart and now it's doing undoing all the changes which it did. So no, so because your system crashed, so it wasn't able to complete the process. So that's a good thing to know that there is a, a recovery process set in case you lose your power or your hard disk fails, whatever. Well, hard disk fail anyway, you won't be able to recover anymore, but nevertheless, you have option. So this refresh is uh, a nice option it reminds me of wordpress you know upgrade feature where you already have upgraded ones but if you want to again reinstall that's how it goes it's not completely reinstall but yeah it does the job complete reinstall is uh, yeah it's it's like a oh, this one of my account which is uh, which doesn't it's is auto login and no password is asked so it has logged in so but this makes sure that you did not lose anything even your refresh did fail so that's another advantage you get now let's log into a oh, sorry about that i logged into a wrong account but login login is very fast here so we'll go and go for ashish test now this is the admin account which i have created and it's not connected with the live account now now let's go to control panel and we'll do a reset so now reset is only when you want to start something from very scratch you know because it will remove all your files apps even from apps from marketplace and on and on and on whatever so these settings will be restored your personal files and apps will be removed if you remember refresh did not remove any of the apps from the app store so if you are ready to take the risk this is the one we should do I think this option will be great uh, if I want to have, you know, doing a reinstall. It's much better than reinstall. Or if I am planning to give my computer to somebody else. But in case, remember, this will not remove files on the other drives. It will remove only files from the drive where it is installed. So make sure uh, you do back up all those files. Uh, it will not go away and probably we'll see now you can see it is doing update registry settings and all so it's like doing complete reinstallation it feels like that now one thing you should remember that probably you'll see a lot of apps that will extend this reset feature and probably we will see in future you know that will take backup on a c drive or a d drive or an external hard disk and then it will give you bring back to this process so ultimately uh, excellent advantage so the day you had installed Windows 8 for the first time, that's how it looks. Windows Boot has two say now. One is the okay, uh, yeah, let me complete. Uh, Windows Boot has the device stage, 
and the login stage. So device stage is where all the Git drivers get installed. You know, so it's, it's pretty fast. So this is the product key being asked for me. So I don't have this development version. There's no product key and all. So I can obviously skip this part. But this will happen. So make sure when you give it to somebody else, either he has the, uh, what do you say, the product key or um, you ask him to use his own product key so you know it will be different so now I can see it's asking for all the personalization and everything I can uh, log in if I'm connected to internet I can instantly use my Windows Live ID and sign in and all those stuff, all those regular stuff, customize. Now oh, I want to share and connect, obviously. Sometimes I see the button doesn't work, but it's developed version, so it's kind of my uh, smart sign filter. If you want to turn it off, it's right here. And do next and next. So this is how the reset thing works. Excellent mode refresh and reset that you should keep in mind. It saves a lot of time, it saves a lot of effort, a lot of reinstallation time and it's pretty smooth. It might take some hardware depending on what kind of hardware you have, but uh, overall it works. That's that's what I can say. So now it's asking for a Windows Live ID and I'll enter Windows Live ID. Now you can see if you're connected to internet how fast your photos and everything will start popping up. And you know, you know it also has a sync feature which works very nicely so that's how everything goes so thanks for watching the video don't forget to comment and like button and all those stuff do subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and leave feedback for us <coughs>